I get the sense that he knows he's beat. He's got to see it though. He tosses in a calling chip. We officially made the most that we could possibly make. Oh! <laughs> Bruh, I've been sitting here watching Brad Owens poker vlogs and screaming at the top of my lungs for about three and a half hours now. When it finally dawned on me, that's something y'all probably like to watch. Now I told y'all I played poker for a living for about three or four years. That's where I got my initial money to get my camera and all my YouTube stuff I needed. Now I love Brad Owens, man, I do. But the way I play poker is extremely tight, especially if I'm building a bankroll. I'm not playing no four or five suited unless it's super limped, you know what I'm saying? When y'all hear me criticizing this play, is because when I played, I was playing for the rent money. I actually met Brad Owens at his poker meetup about a week ago, really nice dude. But again, I'm super tight. So I'm be yelling at the top of my lungs when he's doing some of the stuff he's doing, I know. I played for four and a half hours, but I don't have anything to show for it. Time to join the high stakes cash game. I buy in for 10,000 to start. The games look good, so I'm excited to play, but to be honest, I can feel that I'm a little on edge after busting 10, the tournament. I take my what? seat. There are actually two tables of 10, 25, 50 what? running. They spread it every Friday. 10, Ours is a feeder for the main game. Andrew's at the table in, as well. Won't. I begin playing at 4.30 p.m. Video, Hopefully we'll have easy decisions okay. and can win some chair. pots right away to help me get back in a better headspace. They bought in for $10,000! Two minutes in, I dealt pocket fives under the gun plus one, and raised to 125. The cutoff UTG three bets to 400. Somebody so this three is how it's gonna be today, to I guess. There'll be no time to settle in. We're immediately okay, going to battle. 4, I call for no. 275 more in I order to set mine. No. Heads up out of position. No. The flop comes, 10-7-4 rainbow. We don't flop a set, but we could still be ahead if the opponent has two overs. Probably not. I check, No. We won't be seeing a free card. Now you're screwed, you just gave away $400. Cut off, the pressure on with a down bet to 350. Nope. We've at least got a backdoor See? straight draw to go with our pair. Backdoor. There are plenty of low turn cards that'll help us improve if we're not already best. I call one time. No. The turn is the queen of diamonds. I didn't no. want to see any more high cards. I check with plans of giving up. Bruh. Cut off checks back, which is surprising because I expected him to bet almost his entire range. It's certainly a better card for him than it is for us. The river is the nine of clubs. I've now got about the worst hand that I'll have in this situation. Yeah, Doesn't you have, have much hand. value. I could turn You'll it into a have. bluff. I'm just not sure what better hands no I'll get to fold unless I bomb it. You. I go for the more conservative route and I check. The cutoff bet's 900. Oh! Occasionally, he could have some ace high type of hands, but a lot of the time, they'll have me beat. Yeah, yeah. I fold, and without anything too Pocket wild happening, fives. I'm down 800 simply because Reflop. this is a massive game. No! The day before, I grinded for six hours to win 1500 in the 2 5 meetup game. Now we're playing 10 times bigger. And I've lost over half that in the first hand I play. Nigga. The next hand I'm dealt is pocket tens and the under the gun Nigga. straddle. Under the pocket gun plus tens. one raises to 150. $10, Andrew calls, the button calls with a short stack. I call for 100 more to set mine again. Yeah. We're going yeah. four ways to the flop set out mine. of position. It comes eight six deuce with See? two diamonds. That's good. You've got an over pair. You do. Backdoor straight and flush draws. Yep. I checked with the pre flop okay. razor. He's willing to take I a stab at it. Into it. He bets 425. This See? is worrisome because he bet That's into three good. opponents who could have all reasonably connected with this I block. would have bet $200 into him as a button has 19.5 in stack total. And if I got re-raised, in his all-in card. Then I don't get the sense that he's incredibly fold. strong. He's a recreational player. He may just be gambling with the Someone just raised all-in? The main no! issue is that we still have the initial pre-flop razor behind us. Fold. We at least like the flop enough Evacuate. to see bet into multiple opponents. For your life. It's possible Retreat. that we haven't beat, but... He has no, no repair no, 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 see, when he re-raises, that the lets moment, me know that he has better than pocket that under the gun plus one will fold behind me you know after I mean? seeing a jam and a call. Someone re Under the gun plus one doesn't get the memo. He calls for $1,500 more, either has an overpair or a flush draw. No! It's a really uncomfortable situation. Maybe I should have just folded on the flop. There's over 6000 in the main pot and a dry side pot. The turn is the seven of diamonds. It's a terrible card. Now I'm no longer beating diamond. We're drops. pocket tens. I check, expecting to see a bet from under the gun plus one if he has the ace high flush. What are you gonna do? Instead, he oh checks God. back. Okay, he Maybe checks. have a hand like aces or kings, but I don't beat that either. Really? The river is the nine of hearts, giving us the back door straight. Uh oh! I'm not sure what the button has, but I almost definitely have under the gun plus one beat after he checks back the turn. Bro, Again, this is not good. Nothing in the side pot, so he it's got lucky. To bet for value and get called He's got by a straight. Hands. 
I bet twenty two hundred. Hey, he gonna bet twenty two hundred dollars into it. Because if Under the Gun Plus no. One folds, I'd still have to beat the All In Player a, Showdown to win any money. Under the Gun Plus One flush. folds, I get to take my last bet back. Turn over our cards for the okay. main pot. Did he win? I'm really hoping that the button flopped is set. He didn't. He shows four three of diamonds. Yep. Jammed with a combo draw. No, he lost. He turned to flush. Lost it all. Under the gun plus flush one. Draw. Later tell me that he had pocket kings. Yeah. It seems like the decks have been set up against me in several important hands in a row. I don't I'm down I don't 3, know. 3, Maybe. Just a few minutes of playing, and with each loss, it's getting tougher and tougher to keep my composure. Word? You're not supposed to bet into that in the general. When you don't flop the set the and you get re-raised, for significant get amounts of away! Money. I'm battling internally to not let my emotions get the best of me, even though things aren't going my way. He lost on top all of that, of, of, notable of hands are coming at me so at frequently to struggle to write down all the details on my phone for the vlog. It's a bit overwhelming right now. Just a few minutes later, we have Queen-10 suited in middle position during an eight-handed bomb pot. Each player puts in 100 pre-flop and we nope. go straight to the flop. The dealer puts out Queen Jack 7 with two hearts. Bomb pot, We've got top pair and a backdoor straight draw. Oh, not that strong pots. of a kicker and seven opponents. We are trying to get this me, rent money. Yeah, the way no, things are going no today, I'm pots. almost afraid to bet. Top pair may kids, seem good, man. but usually one pair of hands with a the medium kicker is isn't the best hand to show down in a bomb uh, pot. Uh, a set amount of Still don't want anyone to see a free card. And then it's just I bet 275. But he won this one. He, he got lucky. We don't want any resistance. He got queen top pair. We don't get any. But I'm not All betting opponents fold. into a, a, a lot to help I'm not my mind into a get things going back on the right track with after tumultuous a 10 stuff. kicker. This is one of the top softest pair, high stakes games bro. I've been in. So no. I just need to play my best. And I'll have a good shot at turning things around. You check that down. I'm not Very raising next hand, none of that. Got Ace Queen offsuit on the button. Okay, the yeah, yeah. Wins in for 50. I like that. He's the one who scooped the pot with a diamond flush earlier. I Ace noticed Queen that he regularly on opened the limps, Perfect. raised to 200 in order to isolate him. Mm. He's okay playing for 150 more. Who raised? You raised? You re raised? Heads up in position, looking no. to make top pair better. The flop comes. King Queen deuce with two hearts. Not bad. That's not good. Got middle pair. It's not High good. Checks. Two Broadway cards out there. There's a king out there. There's typically a plus. There's a king. Better with my range king I'm worried about. Razor. I would not. I down bet to 150. Expecting I wouldn't even bet that in there. A lot of small pocket pairs I'm and not. super connector type hands. I bet 50 don't bucks. have flush draws. The hijack calls. If I don't get re raised. If he has two hearts in his hand, then... something like Queen 10 or Queen Jack. I'm going to bet another the turn is the 70 seven bucks. Hearts. Not what I was hoping for. Because I'm keeping the pot the hijack small. Hijack checks. It'd be hard to get worse hands to call. Better hands to fold. So I check back. Make the pot big. The when river I got is the three of hearts, shit. putting four to the flush you know on board. We trying to get money. That we don't have. It's gotten worse and worse. The hijack checks. I check back immediately. The hijack shows. I got holes. I got to take care no of. Heart. Man, I can't be out here winner. just Added giving the money to be loose. The showdown is that we see what types of hands our opponent is limp calling raises with preflop. He definitely does some unorthodox things. A similar situation comes up again. The same opponent open limps from under the gun plus one. We're in the cutoff as we look down at ace queen suited. It's a pretty hand that I'm looking forward to playing. I reach for some chips, yes. and raise Don't it to Damn it! Rather than isolating the limper like I was hoping, the button calls, so we won't be playing <laughs> no! in position. If the action gets back to under the gun plus one, don't bloat the pot. takes another look at his cards. Hands. I don't Besides, he the likes them, perhaps hands. a little more me? than his initial limp indicated. No. He puts in the See, limp to 1,200. Not at 12 just over 3,700 in the stack. And I all you got that this is a speculative player does hand. Some things. No! I've seen him put in some limp three Ace bets King in previous hands. And at least one in six, he folded to a four bet. Post flop, no. he's been putting in raises at a higher than normal frequency as well. He's certainly capable of pulling some aggressive moves as bluffs. I might have the best hand. I have removal of the strong holdings like aces, queens, and ace king. I don't want to call and have the button call behind me while he's getting nearly three to one. I also don't want to call and have the player behind me fold and be heads up with the player who only has a pot size bet left in his stack. All you do not go all in! He didn't three bet me, hey, he had the opportunity Don't himself, you do this! So he probably doesn't have a hand strong enough to call a four bet shove. No, no! Jam could win at preflop, or at least it should isolate the under the gun no. plus one player and possibly put him to a tough decision. I'm going for it. What are you doing? Come on, baby! I what about the 6, kids, nigga? It should fold out any pocket pair that the button might have called my initial preflop raise. Oh, oh, I wasn't too oh, worried about the button until now because he do doesn't no give up as quickly as I all in with Ace Maybe he suited, suspects nigga. something fishy's going on. I really didn't want to get it in for 6700 I just thought what I might take it down with preflop a high percentage of the time where it works. I can't do I this. I get called by the under the gun I plus one I ain't got money like this. Only has about I can't do this. I'm black. Eventually the button folds. 
Under the gun, plus one, grabs yeah, yeah. chips and makes the call to risk his entire stack. I'm not too excited to see that. As long as it doesn't have aces, it should have around 30% equity at worst. We're playing almost an $8,000 all-in pot. We may need some help. The flop You're comes. Killing us. Not only do we not make a pair, we're drawing close to dead against aces, ace, king, and kings. The turn is the ace of clubs, giving us okay, top pair and reducing oh. the amount of combos that was oh. played about being up against. Oh. More likely to work potentially all in against a oh. hand like I thought it was over. I didn't. Queens, jacks, or tens, oh. which we're beating. The river oh, yeah. is the six of diamonds. The opponent oh, doesn't appear no to be king. too thrilled about the run Don't out. You have ace king? Turn over our top pair. Under the gun, plus one sees it. It takes him a little while to process the fact that he didn't win. Come on, baby. Come he on. Turns over his cards to reveal the same hand. Yeah. Chop it up. Do Some that. players might have folded ace They got the same shit. Jam. It cancels out. It didn't happen this time. Damn. Won 1500 oh. without seeing a flop. Damn. Next, we've got Queen Jack suited in the deep line. Straddles on for 50. Man, I was about to get this money, man. Boy, he's up to his old tricks. No he limps in for 50 Ain't on no the bottom. No way about that shit, man. Some pretty That's, strong hands. I'm not getting it all in with Ace Queen unless I got a last one that we Ace King. Over. I don't even I do it that sometimes. More. The under the gun straddle with checks. Certain players We're like real bad ones. I'll play Ace King. Three flop. The dealer puts out Queen Nine Eight Rainbow. This is not. You've got top pair and a gutter ball. This is still not the best. I check. I'm not raising this. The other players don't seem that interested. They both check back okay, behind. There we go. There we go. Probably best. Small pot. The turn is the six of spades. Small pot. Keep it small. Check back. A couple of new straights get there. Check like 10, 7, and 7, 5. Keep it small. So all that concerning. We them. ain't got no money. I bet 125. Damn. Under the gun player wants to we ramp up the aggression. We only got he like... raises to 300. Nigga. We have a jack, which reduces the amount of nut straight combos that under the gun might have. Plus, he snap checked on the flop, which I don't think he'd do with Jack with 10, Queen, or even a straight draw. Kicker, this just feels like a bluff to me. It's not Perhaps he has a 10 of some sort for a double gutter, or a 7 for an open-ended straight draw. Really? The button folds. Our top pair could definitely be best. It feel like a bluff. A 10 for a straight. We're going nowhere. I call for 175 At least he more. didn't raise. It's down to heads up. The river is the deuce of spades. Okay, that's it's good. as blank as it gets. That's blank. I check to the opponent. You in a river? Not gonna let us pot. get the showdown for free. No. He bets 750. No. I a couple thousand. If I call again here and I'm wrong, I'll be adding to the deficit. But something seems no. off. No. I've only got a bluff catcher. No. I go with my intuition and call. No. The gun gets his hand caught in the thin mince jar and is slow to show his cards. Ultimately, he reveals that he has eight seven offsuit. He turned his pair an open ender into a semi bluff on the turn and stuck with his fictional story on the river. What the? We get our most significant win of the session. There's still plenty of work that needs to be done to get back really? to the Really? We look down at King 10 suited on the button just two hands King later. On the button. Under the gun okay, plus one King raises to 150. I make the call. It's yeah, just okay. the two of us uh, and we're in uh, position. Yeah, I do Flop that. comes okay. six five three there with two spades. Oh, We've got the flush good. draw with two overs. We like that. Under the gun plus one bets 175 on a board that should be pretty good for me. Yeah, high uh, concentration on the range will be over pairs, sets, flush draws, maybe some pocket pairs like pocket fours and pocket deuces. Don't and call. Draws as well. Don't call. I consider raising. 550. Take this down without having to make a hand, since we're in position. 550. A lot of cards that will help us improve. I call to see the turn. Nigga. The dealer puts out the piece of diamonds, putting four to the straight on yeah. board and adding another flush draw. The opponent bets 225. Nigga. Some players will fold hands like deuces up to pieces when their first act pre-flop. So the amount of sets and straights and I'm putting my on is counted. And with his small bet on the turn, seven hundred and fifty like dollars. Showdown with an overpair cheaply weak. by putting out somewhat weak. of a blocker. Small bet, bet. blocker bet. Only fours yeah. that my opponent would have. Seven hundred fifty dollars. But again, that's discounted. And Ace Four suit. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Could call because this is such a small Put size. Put the money in. I don't want to have to rely on hitting a spade at this point though. I raised a 700 there we go. A straight or seven hundred dollars. If I get called, seven hundred. Still, you still got a draw. Or I can continue bluffing if I miss and force the opponent to make a difficult decision if he has something like pocket nine. Yup. I don't get called. Under the gun, plus one re raises the twenty two hundred. Shit. Now I'm thinking to myself for not calling. I don't even have a draw to the nuts. Be way out of line for the opponent Which to be doing this as a bluff. It's Normally, I expect him to have it's a set, but not a four, and he could possibly have ace four of spades. Damn. Try to avoid situations in which I could be drawing dead. I don't want to hit a spade in a big pot, only to eventually Damn. realize that a king high flush is no good. I reluctantly fold. The player would later tell me that he indeed had pocket fours and turn the straight. In this one, we've got eight five suited in the straddle. Under the gun plus one limps in for what? fifty. 
Don't Note you do that. that. This is the player who bluffed me no. with eight seven off suit earlier, and not the person who got it in against me pre-flop with ace queen suited. Don't there are two me, separate players open limping in a high stakes game, which is amazing. The button calls, this is a more reasonable play after seeing an open limp, but still a bit bizarre. The small blind calls for 40 more, the big blind calls for another quarter. I check, we're going five ways to a flop. It comes queen 10 three with two spades. We've got a flush draw and a backdoor straight draw. I don't, I don't want no parts Checks to the button and on a board that shouldn't connect too well with his range after he limped in pre-flop, he bets 175. It folds to me. I missed spades previously. No one has ever missed two spade draws in a row. I call knowing that we'll for sure hit on either the turn or the river. Under the gun plus one folds. It's down to heads up. The turn is the jack of diamonds. We pick up a draw to the low end of the straight. I check. Despite several possible straights being out there now, the button bets 500. It's hard for me Damn. to imagine that he limped on the button with pocket pairs like queens, tens, or jacks, so I can rule out most set combinations. It's also hard to imagine that he would have limped in pre-flop with many combos of Broadway cards, so you he won't really have two no pair very often point. either. You can't Unless raise. he was semi-bluffing on the flop and made fold. it straight, the absolute best hand that I envision him having fold. is a set of threes. Fold I'm not entirely that. sure what he's got, but this fold. also feels a little bluffy to me. Motherfucker! I don't really like any you of my were options, bluffing. but I raised you ain't got no money. a semi-bluff to represent the straight that we at least have removal for. I didn't realize that the button had such a short stack, he immediately goes all in. Motherfucker! It's for more or less. Shit. What's he at? You don't even have 17, right? Nigga. You don't have 17, right? You're $1,700, man. I don't think you raised the call. $1,700! No! The opponent has $1,705. I've never gotten a better price before in my life. No. I'm getting 801 to 1 on a call. I make it hoping that I'm not drawing dead. The opponent doesn't show his cards. We get confirmation that he has the best hand that I suspect no. he has. Threes? Yeah. Threes are good. It turns out that somehow it is possible to miss two spade draws in a row. Although, we didn't see the river when we had the king 10, so what about maybe the, the jury's children, still out. Man, Either I way, got kids. I get punished I for being this. overly aggressive and lose another big pot. Damn. I'm frazzled and can't make well, big hands. Well, babies ain't eating food week again. Keep getting put in somewhat uncomfortable Ramen spots. Ramen noodles this week again, baby. Every decision I make is backfired. <laughs> I still feel like the game is good, so yeah, even though I'm not in a good mindset or playing my best, bitches. I should still be able to pull this one out once cards start going my way Baby's and stop gonna be running into prison the top of the range. The very next hand, yeah, hey, I scramble hey, look, to get the Danny camera ready. We've got pocket plays. nines in the big blind. Yeah, I, mean, I raised we the gotta, 200. Yeah. The player who opened limbs from under the gun yeah, plus I mean, one like in the you, previous you hand like, like, is now man, in the straddle. You know, he calls for 154. You know I mean? He's the player who unsuccessfully flavor, bluffed me with 8-7 you know? offsuit. <laughs> His stack is the shortest you of the table. With this, it's gone down about 6,500 from Don't the high point. If my tilt level were a color, it'd be pretty orange, and my opponents might be closer to red. For heads up, the flop is king five deuce with two spades. There's only one over, so it's not too bad, one over, even not though we didn't improve. Our pair is still vulnerable to additional overcards yep. coming out and draws getting there. I bet 300, mm. primarily for protection, but also for value. Mm. Isn't that often that the opponent will have a king or better? Under the gun calls, he's got 1,025 left in his stack. The turn is the jack of diamonds, Damn. but it shouldn't change a ton unless the opponent called the flop with something like a spade draw containing the jack of spades. I check, really good. just hoping for a check back. Maybe the all opponent in. really has a hand. He's going to go he all in. You're out of position. This is what happens. He jams for almost exactly I don't play out of position. Bet. This is why. I'm getting two to one on a call with what's become third pair all against an opponent in. that's down a lot in this game who I've already caught bluffing me multiple times in the same hand. Does he really have something he's shoving for value with on the turn after only calling my bet on the flop, even though the jack of diamonds doesn't change that much? Is he turning something like spades or ace three or ace four into a bluff? Or does he actually have a king or better? If he has jack X of spades, I'd be in terrible shape as well. It's one more strange spot that I'm in, and I'm not sure what to do. A thousand seems like a lot of money in real life, but in this game, it's a 20 big blind shove. If this were a 1-2 game, it'd be the equivalent of $40, and I've seen people do some wild things with their last $40. I don't like it, and you can hear it in my voice. I'm not able to get away, though. Come on, bro! King's good. Damn! Yeah, it's good. Nice hand, nice hand. Damn! Two hands in a row, I double players Damn. up. It's easy to look back and think that I could have at least saved $1,000 in that one. Maybe I could have saved even more in the previous hand. I'm annoyed with myself. 
I'm annoyed that people keep getting whatever they need, and what's even more baffling is that a spade flush draw would have missed again on that board. I'm starting to suspect that this deck may be missing a few black cards. I don't like draws. I need to pull it together as we pick up pocket queens in the small blind the very go. next hand. There you go, this Craig. This is the third interesting hand that I've played back to back to back, and it's the first premium pocket pair that I've gotten. The player in middle Craig, position keep playing raises bullshit. the one My stack has been completely depleted. It was once a proud five-figure stack of high society, but now it's been reduced to 3635. I three bet to 500, hoping that it'll look like I'm at the end of my rope after the previous two hands. Really, I'm close to the top of my range. The initial preflop raiser asked to see how much I'm playing. I was gonna add on for another five to 10,000, but Jesus. I didn't have time since I this know, is the very right? next hand I was dealt. Part of me wishes that I had a bigger stack, since we've got a huge starting hand, but part of me is okay only having about 3,600 because it might be the perfect amount to induce a four bet shove from my opponent either as a bluff with ace-4 or ace-5 suited, or with a hand that he might jam for value that we're actually beating, like jacks or tens. Little Middle position player, loves. four bets yes! to small amount, 1,300, isn't gonna say that price Delicious. for long. Looks like the kids might be eating tonight after all. Uh -huh. Probably not though. Show. This, is a good, this is a good thing, yeah! Dang yeah! Opponent shows yeah! pocket aces. I've run really well at Grayton over the course of my yeah! life, but it looks like that could be coming to an end as I might potentially lose my third all-in pot in three hands. When I said all right, that was me acknowledging it's clearly not my day and I'm gonna call it quits if I lose this. Going back to the end of the tournament, Nigga. I've chopped one all-in and lost four. I really don't wanna make it five. I don't have much hope though. You better spike that queen! If the flop comes out spike the queen! Five, three. Yeah. Queen! Two cards to come, two queens left in the deck, a backdoor spade draw, I've got about a one in eight chance of winning. It's looking bleak, on, let, the look. door isn't closed shut on us yet. Lord, in fact, help! Just enough room for little magic. Help me, Lord! Oh. Yes! Oh, Jesus! Oh! oh. The suck out! We drill a miracle two-outer in a pot over seven thousand oh. dollars to get a full I swear double. To God, I'm gonna go to church I was feeling low and really this ready year, to just Lord, head I back get, to the hotel room and go stuff ten thousand. Instead, some life gets pumped back into us. I'm still I'm down twenty-seven hundred, but you know I feel like I'm not five I'm, I'm going the good path, yeah, Lord. I absolutely got lucky, but I'm not gonna squander oh, the opportunity to remain in the game, yep. reinvigorated, Don't you and mess ready that to up. on the momentum. Sometimes you can feel it when things are just beginning to go your way. Come on, that's certainly money. the feeling that I've got right now. Yeah, you got luck. Table agreeing to do a round of straddles to 100. We're on the button. We pick up pocket aces. Yeah, Our old friend man. hijack limps in with a black chip. Yeah, trying to get that money. Be upset if he tried to limp three bet me again. Trying to get that money. You playing 50 or 100? If I had to assign a color to my tilt level Dang. right now, it'd be Green. icy blue. Icy I'm blue. Content. Focus as I raised yeah, the yeah, content and focus. Big blind like is a viewer that. named Rob who came content to the meetup focus game yesterday. Although the meetup game festivities have technically ended now Come that the tournament's on, over, money. Rob saw Andrew and I at the same table playing this high stakes game. And he decided to take a shot after seeing an empty seat. Rob calls the under the gun plus one double straddler calls for two fifty more. The hijack limper is a great raised. price. Please. He calls for two fifty more. Oh my as well. god, this is looking like the juiciest pot ever. Button. Oh my god, yes, great. Yes, three opponents. Can make it a little trickier to navigate though. Yeah. We're going four ways to the flop yes. in position. Yes. King ten five in rainbow. Position. It's tough That's to know we whether like it's that. safe or not. We like that. It checks a up. thousand dollars. Sure for best, but we're definitely not allowing nine hundred dollars. I bet six hundred. Damn. The goal is to narrow down the field to one player. Uh huh. And that's exactly what appears King will happen. Two? Just yeah, not quite King the way two, I hoped. Five. Rob puts in the check raise to 1425. I like He's that. The first I like player all that. I'm getting all me, that in. Making his raise look even stronger getting because all that it's in. not just me that he has to worry about. Under the gun uh, plus one in the hijack fold. Rob has 4450 total. He could have set of tens or a set of fives. If somebody else re raise, we get out of there. All beating what I've been told is the best starting hand if in there's poker. Another caller, I'm not we get so out sure there. it's the best hand here. With Shit. Rob, who's taking a shot at higher stakes than normal, be willing to attempt a big bluff into multiple opponents on this board. I have pocket aces, reducing the semi-bluff combos like ace-queen, ace-jack that we might be up against. Mm. Could he be doing this with queen-jack, or maybe even king-queen or king-jack if you want to see where he's at, possibly? I just got these chips a few minutes ago. I don't want to shove and get snap-called, lose, Fuck. then be stuck piles again. I may just have too strong of a hand to fold, though, Damn. and if I am ahead, 
I don't know what cards I need to fade. I call I'm not that. able to get away from this. I call that. Beat, yep, I, I'm, I'm in there. I'm in there. Oh, you got me. You got me, bro. There's no snap call. You've got to be in the lead because if Rob had two pair better, he wouldn't have been able to get his chips in fast enough. Now I'm hoping I'd for a call from shit. King Queen or King Jack. Instead, Rob folds. <laughs> Yeah. Rob would later tell me that he had ace queen for the Broadway draw. We win a sizable pot that gets us extremely close to the even mark, but not Hell quite yeah. all the way there. We're still down about 350. We're at least headed in the right direction. On, Thanks to a play made by a viewer. I'm on, Red Money. You made it, Rob. You made it. It's time for another bomb pot. Every player puts in $100 each. We're playing seven handed at the moment. If we win, we'll have gotten all the way out of the $6,400 hole that we were in. We look down at pocket queens in the big one. Mm. It's normally one of the worst pocket times to queens. pick up a premium pocket pair because, like I said earlier, one pair of hands rarely win at showdown in bomb pots when there are so many opponents, so you typically have to improve to two pair better. And we do. The dealer puts out queen, queen, Damn. nine, rainbow. We flop quads with 700 in the middle and not a damn worry in the world. Damn. Never had quads in a bomb pot before. Certainly not during a high stakes session. The only concern of mine is how are we possibly going to get paid when we've got everything. Small blind checks, there's no way that we'll be betting when I'm second to act and all the queens are accounted for. Fuck. I check, hoping someone will get out of line. No one bites and checks around. The turn is the eight of spades, at least That's putting a, a flush card. draw on the board and completing a possible straight. The small blind checks, I'm a patient guy, I can't let this check through again though. I make a small bet of 200 to get things going. I wouldn't be too surprised if this folds around. I actually think it's the most likely outcome. All hope isn't lost. Rob takes two black chips from a stack and calls in middle position. The hijack and cutoff fold. The button, who we've tangled with multiple times, is considering his options. I told you earlier, he makes aggressive plays at strange times. This would be amazing if he raised here. I don't want to do anything that might tip him off that we've got the absolute nuts. Still, in my head, I'm Nick, thinking, I know. please do something wild. Quads. He comes through and raises Quads. to 1100. It oh. seems like a bluff since we've got all the queens. I don't know if he'd raise with a straight on this board, or maybe he has nines full or eights full. The small blind folds. I was originally thinking that I may not get any customers with my $200 bet. Now that I've gotten called and then raised, I'm thinking about the best way to I've step one, maybe even two players. There's no reason to risk scaring anyone off. We don't need to re-raise for protection. I flat the 1100. Rob can't justify calling for 900 more. He folds. It's down to heads up with a guy who I know is capable of taking huge risks. Damn. He sees an opportunity to win a pot. It's the perfect setup. The river is the seven of clubs. It doesn't change much since Jack 10 was already a straight. The button has exactly huh? 5,000 left I in the stack. We have him covered. 200, 300. The pot is only 3,100, so it could be tough to get everything. I don't want to risk this checking through since it's highly likely that the opponent is bluffing and may shut down after I called his raise on the turn with another player behind um, me. I put out a fake blocker bet of 600 to appear as if I'm see, weak and trying to get he, the showdown. See, he's cheaper. doing what I would do. I've already seen multiple he knows times today, this. including earlier. But I would use a real small bet, like 200, 300. It gets aggressive people. They'd be like, ooh, I'm a, ooh, and they go all in every time, bro. In this hand, that the opponent has no aversion to raising. On, we just need shit, him to take shit. the bait here. If he has air like a missed flush draw, yep. he may make a last ditch effort to try and steal the pot after seeing a weak looking bet. Yep. If he has a really strong hand like a full house, or possibly even a straight, yep. he'll probably think that I have trick queens and he can raise for value. Yeah, yeah. Almost no matter what he has, he'll feel some inclination to make it more. Yep, let's do that. He takes let's the do black it. chips that he's shuffling in his hand, adds it to a much larger stack of black chips, and then raises to 2600. I don't play All these things that often. It's tough to flop quads, and even more rare to get raised twice in the same hand yeah, while having the absolute mate. nuts. This is an unbelievable feeling. Let's just take a second to enjoy this yep. and hit the like and take subscribe buttons. We've made the maximum. Yes, the button still has another 2400 in the stack, but there's no way that he can call a shove, even if he has pocket nines for what we know is the second Mid nuts, because it's too likely that I'll have queen nine, queen eight, or queen seven for a better full house, and I wouldn't bluff or re-raise no. with anything worse. Still, we have to go for it. I put in the inevitable all-in re-raise for 5,000 effective. The button can't believe it. He must not have been raising as a bluff on the river because he doesn't snap fold. Oh! I get the sense that he knows he's beat. He's got to see it though. He tosses in a calling chip. 
We officially made the most that we could possibly make. Oh! <laughs> We never find out what the opponent had. It must have been either Jack 10s, oh! Pocket 9s, or Pocket 8s. They're all pretty similar in this instance because they don't beat the hands that I'm representing. It's an insane $13,000 pot that comes our way. Earlier on, it seemed like I was destined to lose every chip that I had in front of me. I was stuck several thousand dollars and a favorite to be down 10,000. We got some magic in two separate hands with Pocket Queens. That's how you do to that. Now be up 6,000 on the session. The day is completely turned around. Huh? It isn't over either. Nigga. We've got pocket sevens in the small oh, no, stay full the Main game is full. We're only playing five hand oh, yeah. in our table though. You and get? The straddle to 100 is on. Oh, the he's first to act. He oh, raises to three. God! After being down piles, now that. being up a good call. chunk, playing more call. conservative don't route is pretty appealing. Don't in the small blind with several players behind, I'm supposed to be three betting or folding. Pocket sevens is towards the bottom of my three Please bet range. Don't I've got to go for it and hope to I have to get through everybody at the table without any of the short stacks jamming on Don't me, give it back. including the button who initially raised. Go! Fold, we take it down and add to our stack. Here we've got King Ten of Clubs. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Big ups to Brad Owens, man. He's got way more balls than me when he play poker. Twizzles.